Good evening. Uh, I'm Norm Ozaki. I'm a toxicologist and I'm a resident of uh, Oakland. Uh, I'd like to speak about uh, the air quality section of the initial study. Uh, it's a complicated section in many ways and uh, I'm going to make a general statement that uh, I would like to do. Uh, it's, uh, the air quality section of the uh, initial study are the reasons why we continue to see degradation in the air quality of our urban environments and neighborhoods. Uh, and having made that general statement, I'd like to have you think about something. Um, public health studies recently have indicated that there has been an increase in asthma and uh, breathing difficulty among children. And I think that if you stop to consider that the breathing zone of children are basically uh, in the, breathing, uh, in the um, exhaust area of cars, trucks, and, and um, uh, buses, when they are pushed in strollers or, or pulled behind bicycles. In point of fact, what's happening is that our children are being uh, exposed uh, to very toxic and hazardous gases that are being emitted through the uh, exhaust. If you consider that uh, the success of a project like uh, Safeways is really contingent on the number of people who drive and shop at Safeway, basically we're looking at a fairly good size increase in traffic. Um, and if you say that there's a 10% increase in traffic, as, it, as this, uh, indicated in the uh, initial study, really it doesn't indicate a 10% increase in, in air pollution. In point of fact, if it's increasing the amount of time idling in traffic uh, from three minutes to go through that uh, intersection to 15 minutes having to wait for injected traffic, in point of fact, a 10% increase can increase the amount of uh, exposure that your children are getting. So if the EIR process is really an evaluation of potential effects to their environment, then the air quality section really ignores uh, aspects of our environment that uh, affect the residents who live around that area. Uh, and uh, what I would really like to do is to raise maybe three or four points that um, may strengthen the air quality section of the um, uh, EIR. And um, with the pun intended, perhaps we can breathe a little easier. Um, if you assume that air quality uh, is a function of air emission sources uh, that affect a particular location, then those sources really, and the effect of those sources, should be the, the uh, focus of the EIR, in the air quality section. The city of Oakland is actually suggesting that surrogate data from West Oakland be used to evaluate <coughs> the project site. I feel that it's really not appropriate and not really acceptable to be using uh, air quality data that can be collected from that location. There's no reason why air, air, quality, can, uh, air quality data cannot be collected in that location. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Zucker. Next speaker.